better work, bitch. You want a hot body? You want a Maserati? You better work, bitch. back to my channel so it is what's today today is Wednesday the 23rd I believe and I'm just taking my hair down um I had did a video if you have not checked out my video um that I posted it'll probably be a few days um before this video but I um did a hair little video I did a video showing you how, showing you all how I straighten curl my hair or whatever, but the curls were already dropping. And so I decided to pin curl my hair um, that evening and look like it really worked. I didn't think the pin curls were going to actually come out right, but okay, y'all, look at this bounce. Um, I really, really am feeling this um, Chi and Barbie. I really wasn't um, expecting the best if this thing would focus. Oh, I almost had it. I was not um, expecting the best out of this, but it really does what it says. Like, I have not had bounce like this since I went to the damn um, salon. So, I'm not complaining. And again, if you haven't watched my vlog one of these vlogs i got that at um marshall's y'all seen that i got it at marshall's for 14 bucks and it's regularly um i think that says 28 dollars so like i said y'all don't be sleeping on marshall's and tj maxx and home goods to get your hair products because you're going to save money in the end. I used to be that girl going into Ulta and spending all that money. But you know, your girl got to save coins these days. And why not save spent on, why not save money on hair products? Because we know how expensive those things are. So, yep. Yeah. And then um, I'm also loving this Mazzani Shine Spray. This stuff is so good and you basically spray this on after you styled your hair and it's supposed to help. So for my girls that live in Texas, girl, I know that weather and it's humid or wherever you're at and it's humid, this is going to save your hair at least a few more days than, um, than it normally would if you didn't have no product in it. So, but you look, look y'all, look at these pin curls. I am shooketh okay like wow it's a shame i'm not even going nowhere my hair is looking good now the minute i got somewhere to go it won't be looking like this okay so anyway i'm actually trying to put my hair down because bobby's been gone and i'm like let me look like i'm presentable um while he before he gets home he's been gone all day visiting a friend so i decided to put my hair down and be at least you know somewhat cute i ain't putting on no makeup you know i realized that damn sometimes i forget i do have a significant other who you know values me looking nice he met me when i was all put together so i'm trying to do better about that because lord knows I would walk around this house with a bonnet, sweatpants, and be chilling. And I know he loves me for me, but I should try to be presentable and, you know, let him remember why he snatched me up. But anyway, I am about to put these baked potatoes in the microwave. That's how I make my baked potatoes. So let me wash my hands. So anyway, what I like to do is put a little olive oil. Actually, let me let me poke the holes in it first. So I just get a fork. You can get a knife, or whatever, and just um, poke holes in it. I think most of y'all probably know how to make a baked potato. 
so let me shut up. I told y'all I'm in this kitchen. We did have takeout yesterday, but again, to me, ain't nothing like cooking your own food if you know how to cook. going to drizzle olive oil. Ooh, y'all, I'm still having pains. Ooh, that one was vicious. I just took some Motrin. Ooh, these fibroids are like, ho, trying to get rid of us. You damn right. Ooh. This pen is irritating me, but I don't want to cut it, but I'm about to, and I'll just eat it. I do not like the way it looks. At least cut that much off. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put these in for like 14, 15 minutes. And let's see. And then halfway through, I'm going to um, flip them do a 180 flip <clears throat> anyway I'm actually still working I've been multitasking all day I worked on um, a hair video that'll be out tomorrow um, and then I've also been working at my nine to five so yep that is what I am doing and about to cook um, I'm cooking some steak tenderloins they're called steak tenderloins but I call them filet mignon because to me it's just as tender. So, um, yeah, I think they may be filet mignon, but this company that we buy our meat from um, is called Omaha Steaks. They have some really good meat, but we either buy our meat from Omaha Steaks or Kansas City Steaks. Kansas City steaks is more expensive but um, the quality is there and they give you steak seasoning um or steak hamburger meat seasoning with your order whereas an omaha steak doesn't but it's more affordable but the meat is high quality so i basically took these steaks out in the morning and they've been sitting to get to room temperature because if you don't know steaks just come out better when you let them sit at room temperature before you cook them so they're definitely at room temperature now i have the oven at 425 so i will sear them on the um stove and then they'll go in the oven um to cook to finish cooking Now, uh, Bow Wow posted this video of Soldier Boy. Oh, 
know where the verse is going to be. I don't know how many songs we're going to be doing. I don't got all the information. This was supposed to be 6.30. I think Bad White trying to shoot y'all. I'm saying y'all know right now. If I go to the point, just know So I haven't ate yet, but... I just got a package in the mail. I don't want to say too much. Because, well, I don't care. I'll show y'all. But it's my first sponsorship. And I'm super excited. But a company called Revive um, Superfoods reached out to me. And they wanted to work with me. And my box came today. And basically, they're um, like a health type um, brand. Health food brand. And so they have like on-the-go smoothies on the go um oatmeal and things of that sort so i picked out a bunch of smoothies because if you know me you know i love smoothies so that was right up my alley so let me open up the box and um i'll show y'all what i got in a minute hey y'all so i got um nine different smoothies they put um a straw in here but um i got and they come in these cups and I got blueberry, or I'm sorry, blueberry, blue, berry blue, which is a blueberry cream silk. Y'all, I'm tripping. <laughs> it's a blueberry cream sickle smoothie, and all these are ready to blend. All you got to do is put um, a liquid, and you just pour it in the cup, the liquid, and then put it in your blender. I got um, pina colada. I got hints of mint um strawberry zen liquid gold heartbeat so of course there's um beets in here and cardamom and let me tell i'm just saying the names liquid gold is a tropical mango smoothie um blue cacao is chocolate blueberry smoothie um i ordered strawberry and chocolate that's kind of obvious what's in that one and then banana nut i don't know how these taste just yet i definitely will come back on here and let you all know because i do have to do a sponsor video for them but um i will update you all on the taste of these because i'm all about on the go i feel like i barely eat I don't get my needed vegetables and fruits because I'm always like busy editing a video, working my other job. So these are amazing so far because all you have to do is just put some liquid and blend. So I'm super excited to try these and I will definitely leave my link where you can order these and get um, a discount. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it may be a 50, it may be a 50% discount, something like that. If it ain't, don't be mad, but I'm going to still provide y'all a discount below. So go ahead and check them out, and I will definitely update you all because I'm going to try one of these in the morning. But um, I did cook. I didn't eat yet because I had some more work to do, but I'm about to eat, and I will check y'all tomorrow. Damn, my memory. I put the wrong memory card in here. What's up, y'all? It is the next day, and uh, let me hold this. And I'm on my way to, number one, I'm going to Walgreens because if you know, you know, I need to get me some more peppermints. And um, I had a, a debacle with a damn spider that was trying to kill me last night. And so I read that a natural, I researched um, natural repellents for spiders and one of them is peppermint oil so i'm getting me some peppermint oil and i'm gonna spray the hell out of my house it just says put some peppermint oil um, in a spray bottle um about 20 drops with water and just spray it in this spiders hate the smell of that if you don't have no peppermint oil it says you can do the same with vinegar but I'm not going to do it with vinegar because I don't want my house stinking like vinegar. So I'm going to do the peppermint oil. Um, but I also got to stop by the grocery store because I'm going to make tacos tonight. Um, so I need some ground beef and some taco shells. There goes the light. I need some, um, oh my gosh. I need some... Yeah, y'all heard me. Some beef and ground beef and taco shell. Anyway, I probably won't be able to record because 
my camera has one more or my memory card has one more minute Ugh. and as y'all can see my curls have dropped that's just what my hair does it's like back in the day when my hair was shorter I could hold a curl not no more my hair just drops so I'll probably wear my hair like this until the weekend and y'all already know grease up my scalp scalp and put my wig back on but all right I'll see y'all in a minute working on a weekend like usual way off in the deep end like usual niggas swear they passed us they doing too much haven't done my taxes I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts niggas caught me slipping once okay so what someone hits a blocker I tell you if it was us man a house in Rosewood this shit too flush say my day's a number but I keep waking up Oh, you see my text, baby, please say something Flying by the glass, you're in a cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout I don't need to know what that's about Watch your mouth Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib I can never tell the shit it is what it is Said what I had to and did what I did I never turn my back on every key, God forbid Heard you got the paddock on my wrist Doing front flips, giving you my number But don't hit me on no dumb shit Working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too blood It is Saturday and we are at the LA Arbitorium and it is so pretty out here. I always pass this place because it's by um, the mall and look, just beautiful. See, taking pictures. Look at that. It is so pretty out here. But anyway, I'm over here because um, like I told y'all, I had a sponsorship with the smoothie company and I'm out here trying to get some nice pictures in nature. So let me go ahead and get those pictures and try to set y'all up so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get that perfect picture and it's hot as hell out here but I'm gonna cut my camera off because I do not want to waste my battery because we're gonna go to the mall I might do some b-roll of the area but yeah I'll be back y'all y'all we had to get the hell up out of there oh look at all that sweat and I got on a face full of makeup we got some good pictures after this one stop complaining but she'll be the first one talking about, can I have, can I have? But that was nice. We're going to definitely start coming here when it's not as hot and have us a cute little um, picnic in the shade. 
because it's a really cute place and it's free it's free if you sit at, in the front of the arba or boredom i don't know how to say that y'all but it's free if you sit on the big lawn that they have by the um waterfalls but if you go like further in which didn't look that special then you have to um pay so and then they do like family yoga in the mornings or you can go on nature trips so we're definitely coming back here it's a cute little spot anyway y'all i don't know what we're doing at this mall actually i know what i'm doing so every time i go into nordstrom y'all the men's select so um the men's it clothing area be bomb they have so many freaking cute options um and the men's wear like stuff that i would just wear like t-shirts and cute like shorts so i'm definitely um going to check out and see what they have they have some cute sweat they had some cute sweatshirts the last time i went but i'm like it's hot as hell i'm not buying nobody's sweater because i'm not gonna be able to wear it outside right now so i'm gonna check out the men's section and then i know miss and i are you gonna go in zara's well don't complain you don't have no clothes so are you going in there or not well yep and then i'm gonna definitely go up in here and get me something to drink because whoo it's no joke out here my car says it's 91 degrees so anyway so i don't know if i'm gonna bring my camera out in the mall if i see something that i just have to get on camera i will turn it on plus i got my little um purse with me today so i'm gonna have to take my stick off because i don't want to walk around in the mall with this big old stick so yep SARS is having a sale should never came up in here look at all this stuff i got lord help me this is one of my favorite britney um, songs work bitch you better work bitch i love me some britney hey i'm on the freeway doing a Look at this hair chop. Anyway, y'all, so we are back from the mall. That was a fiasco. That's why I rarely go to the mall because I don't like to be around a bunch of people <laughs> trying to dig for stuff. I'd rather sit peacefully in my home and pick out clothes or whatever else I need. But we ended up going to H&M and we went to um, Zara. So I'm going to try on these pieces. Um, so y'all can see, and I can see, how they was looking. Zara's had a huge sale. Um, go to your local Zara's. Zara's. <laughs> go to your local Zara's if you're a fan of Zara's. Everything was slashed at what, like 50% off? It, it was a crazy, it, it was like as if they were giving away money up in there the way people were Zara's running around. Expensive. They had like $23 for like a shirt. Yeah, but a lot of the stuff was on sale. You weren't picking up sale items. You didn't have to on the kids stuff. So, anyway, um, the first outfit I'm going to try on is from um, H&M. I don't really shop at H&M like that no more, but I've been seeing some of y'all picking up some cute pieces. So, I figured I would go in there and see what I could find. So let me try that on and I'll be right back. Before we get into that, isn't this so cute? This was the OOTD of the day. This little jumpsuit that I bought like two years ago from this, um, from the flea market here where I live. Um, I thought this was super cute. I had to find this in the back of the damn closet. It's a little big right here. Um, because it is a large, but again, I kind of like that little, you know, relaxed look. But yeah, this is what I wore, and this is what I took pictures in for um, the sp the sponsorship photo, the sponsorship photos I did, and then I had on this hat, and the hair was more laid. My hair just puffed out, but I'm kind of feeling this vibe of my hair kind of puffed out like this. It's all right. 
it makes it look like really full but yeah it was a vibe i'll put a picture somewhere here of how the photo came out and then i had on some really cute like um cute heels that i left in the car by what's his name shit it's a real popular steward something yeah but i had those on and had a clear block heel and i was gonna put a belt on around here but then i remembered that the company doesn't want like any um like big br any brand showing in their photos so i just had to you know do a little little plain something something but anyway let me try on the first outfit from h m these are the shorts they actually are perfect i am not a girl that likes to wear um real short shorts um, i'm kind of like self-conscious about my thighs so i'd rather just be able to wear some long shorts and it's perfect because as you can see they have this little slit here and of course i would not wear it with this shirt i would probably wear it with like an oversized button-up shirt that can kind of like hang out on the side so um <laughs> do not look at this top and think this is what i would wear with it but yes, I really love the shorts. They really feel comfortable. I could wear this with a cute pair of like sandals, some heels, a cute little jacket. Um, but I definitely see myself wearing this with like some kind of cute button up. As a matter of fact, let me show y'all how I would do this. I couldn't really find any heels, but vibe with it. Vibe with it. You got on your cute little, I got these um, flats from Zara's. And you know, you got your little jewelry going and you can either, um, my hair is just a hot mess right now. You can, um, I'll probably wear my hair up if I wore this outfit. But anyway, you know, with a cute little bag and if you really want to do it up, then you could put on a hat and really be vibing with it like vacation. Of course, these shorts need to be ironed and I wouldn't wear this shirt underneath. I was just lazy and didn't want to take it off. So it would be like one of the bare skin vibes with the shirt button low and y'all getting it? Like I'm really, and then like a cute little tie belt. I don't know if I have one, but like those tie belts with the string that comes, child, like don't get me started. But yes, I really love these shorts. This is like my style, not tight. I'm free flowing. Like, yes. So anyway, um, the shorts were on sale, number one. And they were, oh, fuck it, rip it off. They were $30. So, and then again, they're in a size large. But yes, I'm going to do this outfit up real cute and then of course this probably will be an insta picture but i'm really trying to get into hats this summer y'all i be seeing a lot of girls looking really cute wearing their little hats to brunch and stuff and i'm like damn i need to step it up so i bought this one hat um i want to say from zara's or one of them stores like two summers ago so this will y'all will see me in this more but i want a white one for the summertime so Yep, so these are the shorts from H&M, loving them. And these are um, another pair of pants I got from H&M. These were on sale. Um, I bought these just to relax around the house. I wish they would have had an extra large because they're a little tight in the thigh. But um, yep, these are cute. They're from their, their recycled line, these um, stores are having sales right now and these were $13.99, originally $19.99. So I thought they were cute just to chill around the house. I wouldn't wear these out, I don't think. I mean, you could, you know. But yep, so those are those little chill pants. This outfit is from Zara's, I got this, um, knit top and it has a little um keyhole i guess that's what you call it and y'all these pants were just calling my name like i love these pants it's like a green plaid um print and it's just a pretty green color and the buttons the there's gold buttons on the side 
and I'm just shocked because these are a size large and girl, your girl was not wearing a size large about a month ago. So I'm like, <laughs> it's up from here. I'm not going to be eating unhealthy or gaining the weight back that I'm losing because I just knew these damn pants were not going to fit. Um, it does have a little stretch elastic in the back. I would definitely wear a thong with these pants because you can see slightly through them and you can see my um my panty line but oh, these are so stinking cute y'all oh so i would definitely wear a cute pair of heels with these a simple pair because these pants are like the outfit so you don't need to do much with the heels just wear some cute accessories maybe a cute white hat and you cool um these pants were originally, damn, it looks like they went on sale twice. So it shows $39 and then they went down to $25.99. But, oh, these are so cute. I will probably wear these um, to brunch. Definitely like a breakfast day thing. I don't know if I would um, per se wear it with this shirt, but, oh. I'm so happy. I'm really happy y'all that I'm fitting back into a large because I used to even, I think sometimes have to get a double X in Zara pants. So I'm shook and I have some really cute work pants that are an extra large that I haven't been able to wear. So I'm praying that those fit because, um, yeah, these are an extra large and they fit perfectly. Like I can bend, I even got room here. So baby, yes. Okay, so the rest of the clothes that I got were just like a couple shirts. So I'm gonna keep these pants on and then just change and let y'all see the shirt. Okay, so this is the second top I got. It's like a crop top and it has like this knot um, print on it. It's so freaking cute, it's so lightweight. I was worried about the fact that um, it may be a little too heavy for summer, but it's really lightweight and it has these little um, seams here to let some air come through. But um, yeah, this top right here is super cute. I'm loving it. I would probably pair this with a cute pair of high-waisted jeans and some cute heels and go about my day. So this is cute. I almost like this together. I'm trying to like dress different. Like I'm tired of trying to be matchy matchy and do things to make myself feel comfortable. I want to step out with my fashion. So yeah, but this is really cute. And I got this for $12.99. Again, all their stuff is on sale. So yeah, this top was $12.99. And so this is the last top and I'm hella happy that I, I went ahead and got this top because I had it in my hand. I put it back, I think twice, and I'm so happy. I Look at this, oh, it fits perfectly. It shows just the amount, um, perfect amount of chest. Oh, this is cute. Yes. And you know, you could pair this with pretty much anything. I could wear these pants and this shirt and um, be straight, but oh the thicker material so it feels really nice and then I don't know if y'all can see the back of it is just a regular scoop neck but this is super cute and this is $12.99 and originally it was 20 bucks $19.90 might as well say 20 bucks but yep so that's pretty much all I got. I just did some light shopping. I have a lot of cute summer pieces that I didn't get to wear last summer because of COVID. So I'm like, I'm not gonna be in here going crazy. But these pants, y'all, this kind of does make me want to go back to Zara and see what other pairs of pants they have because I'm just shooketh that I could fit an extra large. Um, are these an extra large or a large? These are a large, bitch. You better work, bitch. You want a hot body? You want a Maserati? You better work, bitch. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. No. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I know I was supposed to do that DIY, but I need to buy some more of that rope. And I'm kind of irritated because I already spent 30 something dollars for two things of rope. And now I got to go and buy another thing of rope um, to finish this project. So 
I will definitely include it in the um in another vlog for sure but um yeah so of course if you are new here and you done made it all the way to the end of this vlog go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you're not new here but you've been watching my videos go ahead and join the gang gang hit that subscribe button go ahead and like this video and comment below and i'll see y'all babes in the next video peace